Damn, son, where'd you find this? What is up guys, Harmonious here, and I'm starting my vlog in downtown Los Angeles. I'm with the homie Johnny J, he's right there in the back, and the whole plan today is actually just to skate around downtown, and I wanna check out a couple of buildings that I wanna get to the roof of. I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna do any roof climbing today, but I definitely wanna check out a couple of buildings that I have in mind. One of the first spots that we came to to skate is actually something I've seen on, I think it was a Hall of Meat, but some kid tried to 50-50 this ledge right over here, and this ledge is like super buttery, he completely slipped out, ate shit on his back, and something I didn't know at the time is this spot right here is actually actually a prison. This is the LA Federal Bureau of Prisons. And this place is also known to locals around here as the Twin Towers. This is actually, if you're gonna get locked up and go to hardcore prison for a couple months, this is exactly where you're gonna go. Johnny actually came to the spot so he could check out this ledge, but I honestly don't think it's like the best idea to skate outside of a jail. Uh, for some reason, I just think that might not be a good idea. But either way, we're actually gonna go skate around downtown, look for other spots, and just get this vlog started. So let's get it. Harmonious world out there. Harmonious. Very, very harmonious. Scrumptiously harmonious. Peace. Before we actually go out to go skate, I kind of worked up an appetite like on my way here So we're actually gonna stop by the Japanese village grab something to eat nothing too big Because I don't want to like weigh myself down or like kill my skate session later I'm just gonna grab something really light to munch on really quick and we're just gonna continue the voyage. So let's get it Okay, we're inside the freaking like little Tokyo store and look what the hell we just found This is a yam starch cake. All right, so it's like a bunch of liquid and it has like a sponge inside of it that's so weird, dude. It's like you can feel it. It just feels nasty. Oh, dude. <laughs> it feels like an avocado that's been sitting in water. Dude, buy it and eat it. No. Only in Japan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, products of Japan. That is Coca-Cola Raspberry. And it's not just like some BS thing. It's actually official right there. California Raspberry Coca-Cola has a raspberry thing on it. It's actually like printed on. It's like official bottle. California Raspberry. That's so awesome. We just left that Japanese like market, I guess. And let me show you guys exactly what I freaking bought. And I also want to ask you guys, would you be interested in watching like kind of challenge videos where I find the weirdest, nastiest things in those stores and we basically like try to eat them? Because we found, down. do we, we found like some sponge thing that's like submerged in the water and it, it doesn't even look like it's edible. It doesn't even look like it's food and they're selling it for like five, six dollars. So it would be really interesting to buy it and actually see what it tastes like, see if it's good or not. But let me show you guys exactly what we bought right now. Okay, so first things first, some Japanese chips. One thing I really freaking like is like dried fish, like small dried fish. And this is basically like those dried fish, but mixed with nuts in like different flavored packets, I guess. So I had to grab that and check it out. And for all my people out there that know about Japanese foods and Japanese drinks, you guys have seen this drink before. The drink called the Ramyun. They have it in a bunch of different flavors. And I finally found a bottle that's basically bigger than the tiny glass bottle that's full of the Ramyun juice. This is basically the juice that's inside that bottle, but the giant freaking metal can of it. Oh, I did it, dude. <laughs> I just opened it off my skateboard. Let's see what it tastes like. Dude, that's so good. That's proper as hell. It's only $1.50 too.
I always say that was a super fun skate session whenever I just finished skating something, but that was actually a really cool skate session because I landed a trick I've never done before, which actually took me like, I don't know, maybe more than 20 or 30 attempts. And then Johnny was able to do a heel flip over the <laughs> same thing I did trick over. And it also took him like, I don't know, 50 or 40 tries or something like that, but super hyped on it. One thing that I really like about skateboarding is like, uh, you'll be trying a trick and it'll feel like no matter what you try, you will not be able to do it. But if you actually like take the time, like take an hour, take two hours just to keep trying the same trick, you eventually will freaking land it. And then if you keep doing that same process over and over again, you'll be doing the same trick at a quicker pace or like more consistently. We just left that skate spot and actually the whole plan for today is actually, I'm sure a lot of people know about this, but E3 is going to be going on, I think uh, on Tuesday, uh, someone said in downtown Los Angeles at the convention center. And today I saw someone posted on Twitter that there's going to be like a battle bus testing going down in downtown Los Angeles. Basically, there's going to be a hot air balloon that looks like the battle bus from Fortnite flying over downtown. The Twitter post that I saw said it was just going to be a test. So I'm not exactly sure if they're going to fly it all the way over Los Angeles like they said they're going to do on E3. But one of the reasons why we came to downtown is because I wanted to get a clip of this battle bus. But I actually talked to someone else who came here just for E3 and they told me that E3 is not going to be going down until Tuesday or until next week. So instead of wasting our time and going all the way to the downtown convention center, we're just going to find a couple more skate spots and just continue skating. <laughs> Okay, I honestly did not think that we were gonna end up finding any roofs, but we just came across this building right here. And Johnny and I actually tried to climb into this building like last weekend. And here's a clip of how that ended. Hey, please open your bags, please. I'm suspicious about the bags you're using. Why in the bag? Why are you talking about the building? It's a camera bag. Let me see why you got it. I'm not sure you took camera. Oh. No, we, we, didn't, we didn't steal anything. No, no. Well, you ended up suspiciously, so probably it's close to there for us. No, no, you know? no. Yeah, okay, I don't want to touch the bag. Open your bag. Let me look inside. This camera equipment. Um. That dude was not freaking happy and right now Johnny and I are actually thinking about trying to go back into this building Just because it looks like one of the easiest buildings to climb into right now all the windows are open It's a complete construction site I don't think anyone lives in there But the only thing I'm worried about is accidentally running into that guy again And I'm thinking if we do end up running into the same security guard I don't think we're gonna have like a chance to even like you know risk like staying around We might end up having to book it and like run out of there as fast as possible So I'm actually gonna put the DSLR back in my backpack I'm going to take out my GoPro and then I'm gonna put my GoPro on my head and we're gonna hop into this place and see if we can get to the roof or even to the crane. So let's get it. Wish us luck. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? calling it a day and I'm now home at my pad. It's actually the next day already and I honestly think it would be a really good video series of like me and Johnny or just me and friends going to Little Tokyo, going to Chinatown, finding the strange foods that they have there like that sponge thing that we found, buying them and just like eating them, seeing how they taste or like making challenges out of it. So let me know in the comment section if you guys think that would be a good idea too. I think I might end up going through with it and just seeing how it goes but that's literally one of the reasons why I love going to downtown Little Tokyo and Chinatown. They just have a lot of interesting different things that you don't see like on the regular streets of LA. But either way, like I said, this is going to be the end of the video so please leave a like if you guys enjoyed watching this video please leave a comment exercising your freedom of speech in my comment section do not forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already click that notification button if you want to be notified every time i post a video and thank you guys for watching peace damn son where'd you find this